Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron here today, New Life Pentecostal Church, Albany, Georgia. I want to talk to us on why I am not an agnostic. Now, the term agnostic was coined by Darwin's bulldog, T.H. Huxley, back in 1863 to kind of give, it's been joked that it's a coward's way out to say, you know, you're not an atheist. You're an agnostic, which gnosis just is Greek for no. So you don't know whether there is a God or not. Now, I'll tell you why I am not an agnostic. Now, I don't personally uh, prescribe to the fact that all agnostics are either A, atheist, or B, cowards. I don't. I do think there's people out there that are on a journey, and because of the world situation, they're just trying to find out and figure out whether there is a God or not. You know, there's that old joke, there's no atheist in foxholes, that type thing. But, uh, you know, one reason I'm not an agnostic is, you know, if if you just didn't know, they'd lead to a lot of uncertainty in life, obviously. Um, if I was an agnostic, I would probably try to do everything possible to either become a theist or an atheist. Because if you just don't know, you know, you don't have any moral foundations, you might can say, well, what does the best to my fellow man? Okay, is abortion what's best for your fellow man? Is, uh, you know, transgender therapy for five-year-olds, you know, hormone therapy, is that what's best for your fellow man? You know, so then who determines what's best for your fellow man? Are you a Malthusian that says that basically um, the 51% should dominate the 49%? You know, are you a utilitarian like John Stuart Mill? Who knows what's best for your fellow man? Is uh, you say, well, I, you know, global warm against greenhouse gases, carbon dioxide, which has been shown to be so beneficial to all of the world, all of the plant life, and everything. You're against that. You're you're into making solar and wind farms that kill uh, so many tens of thousands of eagles and bats and all this stuff every year, and the land that could be used to feed the, the starving is now solar and wind. It's so much more expensive and making ultra billionaires richer ultra billionaires with carbon uh, credits and all this kind of stuff. Big scam. So the point being is you don't know. And so how would a tree grow? How does a tree, how could men and animals all benefit from the oxygen coming from trees and then benefiting from the CO2 coming from us. It seems like there would have to be kind of a simultaneous creation there. The same with procreation of male and female and all of the different intricacies that come with that. Our systems, whether human or animal, we're all closed systems. A half an endocrine system doesn't work. A half a liver doesn't work. A half a ocular system doesn't work. It's an all or nothing. So it couldn't have evolved. It would have to be, you know, half of this is junk. It doesn't get transmitted to the next generation in natural selection or survival of the fittest. So the reason I'm not an agnostic is just because I don't think the evidence shows for agnostic. I think you can know. I think just as the scripture says in Romans 1, now some of you would say it's a self-refuting statement, you shouldn't use scripture to say that. I'm just using it as a buttress that everybody really knows there's a God. If you didn't, you know, if, if you lived in a society that believed in Santa Claus and nobody else believed in, you know, and everybody believed in Santa Claus and you didn't, you know, you probably wouldn't be so furious that once a year everybody does something with Santa Claus. But with God, everybody's furious to remove him from the public square. And it could be what Julian Huxley, TH's grandson, said, because it interferes with your sexual mores. The fact that there's monogamy, monogamy in marriage, the fact that adultery and fornication are sins, and you just can't feed your flesh. And so you don't want there to be a judge or a judgment, so you do everything you can to remove the Creator and the lawgiver out of your mind. Friend, I want to tell you, there is a God. His name is Jesus. He came as a man. He walked among us. He was tempted in all points like you and I are. He felt what we feel. 
The evidence is overwhelming. I've done other videos on the evidence. You can listen to those. But that's why I'm not an agnostic. I am a Christian because the evidence is overwhelming that Christianity is true. And everywhere, true Christianity, not uh, perversions of Christianity and on and so forth, wherever it predominates, it is a blessing. And it's not only a blessing here on this earth. It's a blessing. Look, I was getting killed during the Crusades just like everybody else. You know what I'm saying? I was in the Inquisition getting killed like everybody else. I'm saying real Christianity, godly Christianity, scriptural Christianity. Not everything that names the name of Jesus Christ is a Christian. So God bless you. I would pray you would get off of your agnosticism and come to Christianity. God loves you. God bless you today.